Hello everyone, happy to see you here, welcome back to my channel Brain Logic, and today we have a really interesting challenge and here's maybe the main question, did you study well at school? Can you solve this challenge? 24 divided by 3 and we have 8 minus 6 inside parentheses and we divide all of these by, by 4. So right now this is up to you, you can also pause the video and try to solve this challenge by yourself right now, we can also write your thoughts down into the comment section, write your solution and we will check your answer because I think you will be like a little bit shocked about the correct answer because right here there are two approaches approaches and people all over the world arguing with each other about a correct approach what is the correct answer option a option b and it turns into a big argument so right now let's try to figure out what is the correct what is the correct answer and for this explanation i want to split these solutions by two part okay so i already know that right here we'll have two solutions a or b and i'm going to show you when a correct answer is a and when a correct answer will be will be b so two different solutions but i want to start with one really interesting notes for me because right here we need to know for example let's look at this pemdas order of operation and doesn't matter you also like pemdas board mass you will have absolutely the same first step because all the order of operation is in agreement about the first step so the first step according to like whatever order of operation is parentheses okay so according to pemdas this is parentheses but doesn't matter board mass we will have absolutely the same first step so every time we have parentheses as first step if you scan a little bit this PEMDAS, we have the next step is exponent, the next step is multiplication division group, and the last step is addition and subtraction group. So right now, let's do the thing. So our first interpretation right here, and our, our second interpretation right here. As I told before, parenthesis is our first step. So we have right here 24 divided by 3, and times right here 8 minus 6 equal to, equal to 2 and we divide all of the thing by by four basically we will have absolutely the same approach right here because as i told before every time doesn't matter what order of operation we select we will have absolutely the same first step so we have right here the second approach so we have 24 divided by three and times two absolutely the same thing and we divide all of the thing by four Right now, what makes all the difference in the world is the order we do this problem. Because if we divide it first, we have one answer. If we multiply it first, another answer. If we, for example, divide this 24 by 4. So as you can see, a lot of a lot of combination. And or for example, each of combination will have their answer. Okay. And right now, let's scan. Let's look at this in a perspective of this PEMDAS. And let's look at this in this step. So first of all, we need to evaluate the expression inside parentheses. We, we already did it. Okay. So we do this step. We evaluate the expression inside parentheses right now we don't have exponents and if you look closely what about multiplication division group because after parentheses and exponent we need to evaluate this expression according to multiplication and division sign so multiplication we have right here division we have right here but here is the trickiest moment because a lot of students think that we should for example in this case in this second case we need to divide this 24 by the whole entire product on the right side so it means that in this second interpretation we need to divide 24 we need to divide by the whole entire product on the right side so 3 times 2 equal to equal to 6 and we divide all of the thing by 4 from here 24 divided by 6 equal to 4 and 4 divided by 4 equal to equal to 1 so in this interpretation when we divide this 6 uh, when we divide this 24 by the whole entire product so it means we divide the 24 by 6 it means that correct answer is is one but in our case let's look right here on the first in first interpretation for example we don't know this uh, approach when we divide by the whole entire product we know the approach according to PEMDAS so it means that we need to scan what is the first sign from left to right in another case the first sign from left to right is this one so 24 divided by 3 is the first sign from left to right this is equal to 8 and we have 8 times 2 and divided by 4 as a result 8 times 2 equal to 16 and we divide all of the thing by 4 as a result we have we have 4 so the correct answer according to this interpretation equal to 4 so right here we have option b right here we have option a so this are interpretation that i told before i told i told in, in the beginning of the video that i'm going to show you two interpretation first one and the second one but here's maybe the main question what is the correct answer okay b or a because we can't solve this challenge with two different answers we can't do we can't solve this challenge like that because we need to know what is the correct answer one and only one not two answers as like that 
If we look closely at this solution, we divide this 24 by the whole entire product, 3 times 2. In terms of mass, we can't jump wherever we want, we can't do whatever we want, we can't solve this challenge randomly. So if you want to mention that I'm going to divide 24 divided by the whole entire product, you need to put parentheses right here. And with parentheses, you need to start to evaluate the expression with parentheses at first, and then with parentheses, this is absolutely correct solution. In our case, we don't have parentheses, we have a regular expression without any parentheses, so we have like 24 divided by 3 times 2 from left to right, we have 8 times 2, we have 16, yeah, so obviously from left to right we did the thing before and the correct answer obviously is option option b and a lot of students uh, a lot of students tell me okay mister let's for example let's write this 24 divided by 3 as a fraction so let's look at this in, uh, in the beginning so 24 divided by 3 and let's write as a fraction so what do we have as a result we will have like 24 divided by 3 and times 8 minus 6 okay let's do this what will happen right here 24 divided by 3 are a constant which is equal to 8 yeah and 8 times we have right here 8 minus 6, which is equal to 2. As a result, we have we have right here, uh, we have right here, I guess, uh, yeah, we have right here 8 times 2 equal to 16, yeah, 16. Yeah, everything is correct. I just look at it, the, we don't have the 16, but I forget about this 4, because we need to divide this 16 by 4. This is our numerator, but we need to divide all of the thing by 4 and by 4. Okay, as a result, we have 4. I'm a little bit confused about it because I feel like 16, we didn't have this 16 yet. We need to divide this, this uh, numerator by 4, and as a result, we have we have the same for 4. So, obviously, this is a correct solution to this challenge. This is a correct approach from left to right. The first step is parentheses. If you know a little bit about math, or you can check this answer, you can also solve this challenge like that. So, 24 divided by 3, you can also write it as a fraction. As a result, we have the same for obviously option a is not a good thing in terms of mass nowadays because this is like older usage older usage uh, people all over the world like 100 years ago they sold this challenge like that they uh, divide this 24 by the whole entire product yeah they divide this 24 by the whole entire product but this is not the calculator works nowadays calculators works like that you can also check this solution in your calculator you can also check these uh, notes you can also check this answer from your calculator right now with me you can also plug in this question in your calculator but this is a very tricky moment because you know there are a lot of calculators which like mm, like don't know how can we solve this challenge because right here if you look closely we have our question and if you plug in 24 divided by 3 you know we could literally give you for example we have right here 8 obviously yeah but then you plug in 8 for example the calculators uh, multiplying 8 times 8 which gives us 64 and doesn't matter and whatever right here we have a lot of combinations so here is the main thing i want to say right now try to find a calculator where you can plug in the whole entire problem so you plug in the whole entire problem and then you like um, click on 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 enter button or like uh, equal to and as a result you will have you will have four okay i give 98 percent that you will have absolutely the same answer it's like like that in this in this case because this is very like tricky moment in this question so we hope you understand i hope you understand this part i hope you understand this explanation this is a very tricky question because a lot of students solve this challenge like that a lot of students solve this challenge like that they said the correct answer is a which turns into a big argument right here because we have option option b is a correct answer to this challenge but i hope you learned something new i hope you understand something new you can also write your thoughts down into the comment section you can also write your notes what how, how you solve it in your countries because a lot of countries a lot of a lot of discussions and in this question for example i use i use pemdas order of operation but there are for example board mass also very popular order of operation like uh, like bead mass like right here we can swap m and d right here yeah so obviously there are a lot of orders of operation so a lot of combinations so write your thoughts write how you solve this challenge in your country it will be really interesting to read about it it will be also really great to read your notes about it because i prefer pandas i prefer this solution and this is how it is this is my notes to you from this from this challenge so let's write our answer our answer right here we have option 
option B is a correct answer to this question. So definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. Write your question down into the comment section. Write your solution down into the comment section. Write what do you think about this question. It will be really great to look at it, your solution and write your question down into the comment section. See you in the next videos and have a great day. Also write your question down into the comment section and see you in the next videos. And you can also write your, your notes about this challenge into the comment section. So have a great day.